hello everybody welcome to the NAF kickoff round 16 match between Kofu with his Dark Elves and Janinu with his Dwarves in the booth with me is Fimey hello hello fans of the NAF style tournament here we are on the quarterfinals with the beloved the fan favorite and probably one of the best players in the world, K Fog versus Janinu, which I have no idea who he is, but it's my fault. Probably he's a good coach because to reach this level and it is a pretty decent build team. So I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Yep, yep. He's gone for the very imaginative, the very imaginative skill selections of guard, 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 guard. <laughs> and a troll slayer. And is a troll slayer. slayer? Yeah, only one runner. I think he's only got one runner. Um, let's let's use the Z to check. Yeah, he's only got one runner. You see, whereas I liked having two runners if I had to do a quick score. So I really, I really wanted two runners. Um, so I, I actually did that on purpose. And he's got three rerolls and an apple as well. So you know, and uh, I went with a blocked runner, which I probably shouldn't have. And I went with a mighty blow uh, lineman, which I really liked. So, so yeah, and then Kfog has got the standard, the standard NAF build, if you like, of the three, uh, three blitzers with dodge and a wrestle and a block, and three rerolls. He is down like fifty compared to like normal NAF, right? Um, th this is slightly cheaper, slightly more miserly funds for the teams, which has made dwarves a bit stronger because they they've already get everything they need anyway. Twelve players as well. Whereas Dark Elves only got eleven players, and they're having to give up like the apple that they normally have. So, um, yeah, bit bit tricky for Dark Elves. Very susceptible to just getting banged on in this format because, of course, there is overtime as well, which they normally wouldn't have in a NAF format. So, tricky. Eleven man elves is very very tricky. Solid defence, Kif. Corfool obviously tried to do that and failed, or or just thought this was good enough. <laughs> His defence is already perfect. <laughs> and there's an instant removal. Well, that's a that's a start. <laughs> and let's dedicate this game to our oh my god, to our viewers in uh, Portugal until uh, we get the data. To see how the random countries were affecting the game, <laughs> I just uh, fixed the pick every time. Glorious. I think Janinu may be a tabletop player. I've got I've got no idea who he is. He may be a blue player. Hundred percent, hundred percent tabletop player. If he's uh, playing the NAF style tournament, I'll put my money there. Mm. And most of the people that are playing this tournament is because they are NAF. Most of them, yes. <laughs> yes, there's also you, you know, uh, the, <laughs> most of the others are or known coaches or not people or both. Yeah. Did quite well at the World Cup. There you go. But, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm really regretting my team. I think, I think the best team is... I think the best dwarf team is two runners like I've got, and uh, I guess maybe the troll slayer right to help against lizards. But I still like having the two the two runners to, to like you know to win two one. Um, if you can force an early scores, like gives you a chance of like a two turn so or a three turn, even you know even a four turn like having two runners really helps on a four turn. So I really like the reserve runner. I really like the the runner rather more than the troll slayer. But I, and I think. I think four guard and a mighty blow is better than my block or his guard, basically. Malteser. There's oh, quite a few Maltesers, isn't there? Fine enough. Uh, many of my clients are based in Malta. It's a big place for uh, gambling, online mm -hmm. gambling. Mm. So I haven't had a Malteser in years. Funny enough, and I ask Maltese people uh, many times, uh, Maltesers and Maltese people have nothing to do. <laughs> they are not related. <laughs> yeah, but it's funny though, isn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, Maltesers is like... <laughs> yeah. yeah, 
Yeah, so Cade Rogue's just gonna just gonna like, you know, screen. Block off anybody he can and then screen, but obviously with five guard it's not gonna be so easy to do that. Once Janinu starts cranking up the pressure. And yeah, may maybe the maybe the slayer's good. Good versus the uh Lizards. And good versus bad players. And you've still got to beat the bad players, you know. Like it's, it's interesting, Blood Bowl, because like... Yeah, you know, well, I think uh, Fight Guard is uh, great, but maybe one Mighty Blow. Maybe Mighty Blow on the Torless layer, you know, to maximize blocks. Mm. And uh, chances of getting rid of other players, because most of the teams, many teams are not going to have an Apple or Reserves. Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think so, for you know, and Mighty Blow was best. I think, yeah, I think I me always, and Jan uh, both got it wrong by one. <laughs> yeah, I always think uh, having that kind of, uh, you know, chance of eliminating other players is uh, is good. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm not sure about the Troll Slayer, but I, I am pretty sure that for Guard and Mighty Blow is the best, the best way to skill. Mm. Interesting. Nothing in front of this is so like this is a cage you can attack, right? Because he hasn't got anything protecting it on front. I, I never really like cages like this when they're directly behind the front line. So I wonder if Kfog will Yeah, will I think he this. advanced maybe a little too much. Mm. Being a couple of squares more to the center and behind, you know, having the protection of the guard and the Torres layer an empty square and then the cage. Yep. Yep, that's exactly exactly where I, I would have put these three here. Like yeah. these back three I would have put here. And yep, Kfog does go straight for the from the I mean, it doesn't mean he's gonna go in, but he's at least blitzing it. <laughs> he follows so he is going in. Yep. He's uh, going in because this way he can uh, force the blitz. Because the runner doesn't have block, so it's, he's not going to be the one. There's like three guard and two other players, isn't there? Like five players isolated, so you can really put quite a quite a bit in. He's yeah. not actually going in that far hard. He's actually not really going in at all. <laughs> he's just he's just random basically. <laughs> well, there you go. I think he needs an elf in the square next to the to that guy that just got up. To isolate the front of the isolate more the front of the dwarves. Yeah, he hasn't really hasn't really done a lot. He's just given a free assist, hasn't he, to the blitz? I guess if it's a one in nine, it, it sucks. But I, I guess you could also uh, you could also troll slayer him. Interesting from Kofu. And uh, Janine has got to worry about this guy getting surfed, right? If he just stands him up, <laughs> which he has done. Oh, um, oh, oh, there you go. This guy could come in, push him twice, and then surf him. So he's got to be a little bit concerned about keeping him safe. Oh, he's going in. He's going in. Oh, and Kefo's got a guy around the back as well. Interesting. Proper uh, cage. Guard in uh, the opposite corners. Hmm. Kefo might just bang down all four guys here. That's the usual... Usual thing. Oh, okay, so that makes it a bit trickier. He has an uh, easy hit on the back of the cage if he wants to take it. I think he'll just. I think he'll just try and knock down what he can. Stay in front. That's the thing. If you stay in front, like you know I mean, if you just keep like between these seven squares, it's pretty tricky for dwarves because they're slow and you know they haven't got strength. 
I don't think he'll try to serve. He, he can try to, but I don't think he will. I think he'll just he'll just beat these guys off. <laughs> if I know Kerfog, <laughs> he'll be happy just with beating these guys off. <laughs> <laughs> And it's lowly, but so. Ooh. 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 The good thing is, kfo has got loads of time here. You know, he can he can eat into his time bank and think about reviewing yeah. that as he should be able to. Brilliant, brilliant feature of Blood Bowl Three. There are some good. Po there are some positives. The uh, the time bank is definitely one. Yeah, they replace uh, work like a charm. I mean, they load it super quick. Yeah, the only the only bad thing with the replay is like how fast the normal game goes. Um, the replays are like just super super duper fast. But uh... but there is an option to go play for uh, play. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, that makes you know. Yeah. You can always pause and uh, go play by play. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're good for they're good for like coaching and stuff. But uh, it's not gonna, we're not going to be able to have like you know multiple people commentating on a replay because it'll just go way too fast. Yeah, I thought he might go for the Slayer Blitz here. Make sure that guy goes down and then push through. Push through here. Take the space. You can uh, you can leave like the ball based on somebody, right? So that's a one, two, three, four. It could GFI. It could GFI and then leave the ball there and then like have guards protecting it. Wouldn't hate trying to get upfield here. the tough thing with dwarves like you're just so slow and like obviously people like core will uh, not give you an inch so when you do get an inch you've got to try yeah and take as many inches as you can <laughs> make all the inches <laughs> yeah <laughs> Ah, so he's not actually taking the space. He's trying to like make a beachhead, if you like, and trying to get as much penetration as he can. Which is again, you know, you need to get as much penetration as you can versus dwarves. Uh, like, sorry, as dwarves, you need it. Dwarves need to get as much penetration as they can. Um, but I think Kfog can uh, get some blocks here and more or less uh, sort this out. Guard's a little bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah, that's the only thing. Like, if this guy didn't have guard, this guy can come in, block, block, and can assist here, and he can, he could block, block, but it's just a little bit difficult. How many can he do? Oh dear. So he's not going in with that, so that's interesting, isn't it? Super interesting. Not sure about that. I feel like he should be taking his blocks before he does a 2 plus dodge. So he just thinks these blocks are the most and more important ones. And that's why he did that ordering. I wonder if he'll do this 1D as well then, with a line up. No, he dodges. And dodges the other one. Now this is very weak, but he's got it more over here, hasn't it? So. I think uh, K4 is struggling to roll a uh, 2 plus. Yeah. 
He's got the gym dice. But he hasn't, you know, he's only taken one removal so far, so it's not it's not going terrible for him at all. And it's only a KO, so Yeah. This is the obvious guy to blitz, isn't it? But uh it's not getting you anywhere, so maybe you blitz this guy and don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Turn five. Oh, seems he is actually going to blitz uh, that guy. Mm. Yep. And gets the pow. Does go and for the chief fine rolls an instant one. OMG. Yes, because he, he realized that he had blocked the path of the other two dwarves to the left. Yeah, he just needs to get in front as well. Like he, he's just got to make... He's just got to do it, right? He's got, if he's going to cage, where is he going to cage now? So I guess he's going to go, like, here? Or here? The problem is this witch with jump up. Has he forgotten jump up? Ah, so yeah, he goes one forward. That should be okay, maybe. I wonder if Kvog will go for uh, anything here. You might see 2D on the ball here. Like a speculative 1D into things happening. We'll see. Yeah, he could take uh, the 1D with the blitzer on the guard, the uh, dwarf. Yeah, there's things he can do. There's things he can do, but I don't know if he'll do it or not. Problem is he's got is he's got quite a few guys behind the ball now, hasn't he? This is this is pretty good penetration from Janinu. And uh, all of a sudden, you know, Kfuk hasn't really got many people in front of the ball. And it's gonna be quite a a lot of effort to get them back in front of the uh, cage. Yeah, maybe he should, cause just because he hasn't got much defence otherwise, right? Like this is the problem that he problem he's facing is he hasn't got a uh, he hasn't got much He hasn't got much in front of him. He's got nothing in front of the ball, has he? So the problem is, if he goes for it and fails, he's just he's just given up the score. So maybe he'll try and go. Oh, here we go. He set up a chain here, potentially. Yeah, there's a chain there to put the. Oh. Yeah, just the one D to make the. This a to 2D. make it two D. Oh, Sambo said, yeah, this is my idea, to be honest. <laughs> I don't mean that he copied off me, but, you know, this was... <laughs> this is what I was thinking. Oh, he gets a Kaz! Oh, big! Instant and apple, badly uh, hurt. He's an apple, yes. Thing is, he's got five guarders. So, um... You know, in the in the in my game last round, well, in, the, in round of sixteen, I uh, I appled instantly, like just on instinct. I was like, "Well, it's a dwarf that's been cast. I should apple <laughs> because dwarves don't get cast much." But maybe I should have waited until, like, you know, a badly hurt or a, a play with a skill. And so he goes for the uphill with the wrestle, gets the wrestle. Of course, block would have worked as well. And uh, there we go. The ball is down, and he's still got his blitz. Use wrestle court. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what was the the other option. <laughs> oh, nice ball there. Yeah. So one, two, three, four, five. Seven. Problem is the witch, isn't it? Which has got frenzy, so she's not so good. I wonder if you put the witch there, the line or there, and then he dodges out and blitzes that guy, and then. Runs out, I don't know. It's a bit tricky that this is a witch. This sound is awful, yeah. Maybe he just goes for the four plus pickup. Put a put 
a lino in front of it and then like go for two two. One, two, three, four, five, six. So no he just goes for the four plus. Smooth four plus. Fails it. I wonder if he should have done the two pluses first, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Could have done that and had a had a guy here for two two pluses rather than the four plus. Right, that was maybe he's a bit better there. Maybe something careful could have done better. There you go. I don't know what his plan yeah, was cool. for this guy. Maybe this guy was going to come out and be a scoring threat, right? Because he's only got three turns left. Watch. Watch and learn with Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> Only maybe, like, it was safer, right, to do the two pluses with him. It was safer. But, yeah, maybe he wanted to get him as a scoring threat, if it, if it worked. But it didn't work, and now we're going to get a cage close at the end zone, and nobody any, nobody any closer. He's still not in front of the ball. That was the problem. That was the problem with this. That's why I... I think I would have. I mean, I hope I would have dodged him out to get him in front. That's what I wanted to do. And yet we've got a full cage. Guard on the cage corners. And it's precisely three squares away from the downed runner, so perfect. Frenzy trap. Oh. Turn six. I don't think there's anything clever he can do, but what he can do is uh, he can either knock down everybody <laughs> or he can dodge everybody to try and get in the way. They're just annoying enough, I think, all these dwarves. It makes it a bit harder, you know, like if there was just one or two less or in a different square, you could get a lot more going. <laughs> if they were in other squares and yeah. many less of them, guess what, we'd have better chances. <laughs> no, well, you know what I mean? Like, I think he's done well, Janinu, to get them in a spot where they're doing quite a lot. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I'm very tired. I'm very tired. Very tired. No runner for Kfog, no. Three blitzers, two witches. Do you know what? You should make a, a cane team of Dark Elves and call them Sons of Witches. It's pretty good, isn't it? Oh, there you are. Yeah, this is the thing, like, he did get all of these hits, but the problem is it's not getting him too many players back in front of the ball. No, he can do the blitz and base the ball and uh, put <laughs> yeah. some uh, elves here the blitz, and there. But... Yeah, blitz against the blitz. Again, could he have moved that lineman first, maybe? I probably am the first person to ever think of that. Yes, thank you, Baron Bucky. I'm sure I am the first person to ever think of that. Yeah, this isn't terrible, is it, from Kefog? It's not terrible. This might be too hard for uh, Johnny New here with these four guys isolated. You know, split with these five guys here ready to come in. So maybe he just scores and then. But then, you know. Will Kefog score in two turns? Probably. <laughs> Many chances of that happening, yes. But on the other hand, will you score if you don't score this turn? Probably not, so maybe you just go and get the score here. That follow... That follow I don't like. That makes me think he's just going to score. My 
think he'll just score here. Yes, because uh, there is no gate or uh, protection. <laughs> no, no. no. Uh, but as soon as he followed, I thought that was it, you know. So there you go, a two-turn chance for Kofu. A successful defence, really, isn't it, getting a two-turn? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he just gave up on solid defense. <laughs> he sent me a message, he said, I just gave up, I couldn't get solid defense to work. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, that's that's what I thought when, when, when he didn't when he didn't take advantage of it, I thought I bet he's just he's just bamboozled by Blood Bowl three and that was the correct answer. No guard here, so not super easy to go down the sidelines, so probably gonna try and go through the uh you know, this diagonal here. One of these two diagonals rather than down the outside is just it's hard to go down the outside, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so it's going to be the classic through the middle. Oh. Maybe he, he manages still. to set up his players, of course, which uh, seems he's struggling big time. Yeah, you, you don't have your... Uh, you do not have your time bank on your setup so hopefully that doesn't fuck okay fog <laughs> this is an absolute mess it is isn't it <laughs> it's an absolute fucking mess <laughs> <laughs> wait is this it uh, looks like it I don't know what his plan is. Okay, I think we're going uh, we're going to watch some uh, K Fog magic then. Yeah. This is some cool strat that we don't even know about. <laughs> okay, he's going to blitz the guard on the right. Yeah, and then roll two pluses. Oh, he's just going to one D. Nice job, uh, Kev. Mm. There you go. Oh just, my god, just be careful and just get the push into the power so it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> Outrageous. Look a dog. Cough new. Now, does he go for the pass this or hand off this turn? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'll hand off this turn, right? Because it's a GFI to hand off to that blitzer. So he's definitely going to go for the hand off this turn. Yeah, he can hand off to the blitzer, grade. and the blitzer can uh, position on the side, and he's more or less uh, easy peasy. Yeah, he can full cage it, look. Um, the, the blitzer can get into there, and then the, the witch elf can run round, and he can just have a full, a full X yep. cage. <laughs> And then you can try for like a 3 2 with this guy to come around there. Yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure he'll double GFI. Get some both. Yeah. Which to that? Now the witch covers the back. Yeah, and then this guy will try and 3 2. Oh no, he does the 2. Oh, okay, yeah, I guess do the 2 there. Yeah, that does something, doesn't it? Well, the 3 2 is actually really good if it works, potentially. He gets it. Whoa. That's really good. That basically. basically. You know, Barney had a roll to look like it took some effort. <laughs> yeah. I know, I had to use a reroll, you know. Uh, <laughs> that was a tough time. Yeah, 
There you go, K Fog, that's why he's the best, eh? There you go. Yeah, I think the guard should have been on the second most outside as well, because then it would have been a 1D into an uphill, wouldn't it? Doing that play. Oh. Goodbye, Kev. I got anything to go down the side, but yeah, it was just a wonder, wasn't it? And he's got wrestle, so. Yes. And only a KO for now. So, uh, what we thought it was a very confusing play was a master play. Yep. Risky with the witch uh, 1D into 1D, but the witch has blocked too, so. And wrestle. Also, wrestle, that's the thing. Wrestle, right? sorry, so... wrestle. Yeah, so there was a good chance of a knocking him down, like a, a both down is great with a wrestle. So yeah, that, that was a big thing. I mean, KFOG's probably done that this two turn like a hundred times in tabletop, hasn't he? Oh my god, huge cars. Huge cars. That 3-2 that, <laughs> that got him tagged, you know, got him cast, but yeah. it, probably gets, it probably gets KFOG the score ultimately, so... I think he'll pay a, a Kaz for a touchdown. <laughs> he needs card, he needs like double cheer fire this guy. There you go, that doesn't really do anything. <laughs> no. No, because the Dutch. Oh. oh, that would have done something. But I mean, he can just yeah. he can just play it. Sorry. Yeah, I think he's gonna be a blitz, a blitz with the witch. Ball carry, right? Ball carry can just blitz because the witch is goes into two into one. Well, he can just block it. Yeah, he can just. Yeah, yeah, block. Yeah, exactly. Even easier. The problem now is the one in nine, I guess. But he has he a Yeah, so he blitzes. Yeah, he blitzes. Yeah, yeah. so he, he has to blitz. Yeah. Um, it's only a uh, 46, so easy. Easy. Easy score. Might do some hits here, yeah, because he's got he's got he's got the reroll right, so it's only one in twelve nine six. It's got to be positive EV to take these blocks, surely. And there you go. 1-1, one, one, advantage for uh, K-Fog, now he's drive with uh, the KO, came back, so it's uh, 10 versus 11. <laughs> yep, yep, and this is... Uh... So, looking good for uh, K-Fog here. Yep, looking very good, yep. Well, you know, things can happen, right? Things can happen with uh, wands and snakes and stuff. Like, you know, dwarves have got all that tackle. K-Fog's only got three re-rolls. And if if uh, if Jananu can stop the score and suck off some re-rolls, this could be, you know, it could still end up very tricky for court. You never know. Yeah. And uh, John on Fumble is uh, the basic uh, pitch without any special effect of grass or anything. So that's why it looks so clean. Yeah, also I've got the graphics turned down. <laughs> so I'm using the Blood Bowl 2 icons, text injuries, and then I've turned the bottom five graphics settings to low. And that, that makes everything look better. <laughs> <laughs> it shouldn't, obviously. It's stupid to turn down your graphic settings, but there you go. And here we go. With the second half. Mm. Any moment now. It's going to happen. Yep. One day. Oh. 
Okay, let's see if uh, K4 can manage. Yes, he seems he can manage with the quickest now. <laughs> oh, he might not actually. <gasps> he might not. This is dangerous. This is really dangerous. The quick snap. Oh, because he can end the turn instead of uh, yeah ending the quick snap. Yeah, yeah. This is actually really dangerous. And no, okay. He didn't. He didn't. Phew! <laughs> I got a quick snap and I was terrified. It's my, my navigate. It's so stupid. It's so stupid that getting a quick snap just makes you terrified because you don't know what the game is going to do. <laughs> well, that's a blitz by uh, K4. Wow. That's um, surprising, isn't it? It's been a mistake? Well, no, definitely not, but it's strange, isn't it? Like, he's, like you can't do an accidental blitz, right? Because he started next to him, so he had to select the blitz. Oh, so I guess he just thought there's no one he didn't want to oh, put in the players to glorious, blitz. Glorious uh, yeah, injury. That is amazing, yeah. Double pause, always deliver. That's two dwarves out. That's a, uh, yeah, 10 versus a uh, 10 now. Yeah, and it's a line off a call and a guard. Well, two dwarves out is a reserve. Yeah, yeah, but it's a guard blocker that's out. Yeah, it's a guard blocker out, so that's a, a huge relief for a uh, K4. Mmm. Diced. <laughs> Mega cut in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so now. Uh... Oh, surf. That was a quick turn. So he has a. Okay, Fox says no to any thought of a surf. Oh my god, what a dice lord. Oh my god, that armor break, massive there. This game is almost all RNG, you know. It's, uh, there's no skill involved. That's, that's what somebody said in the Battle Brothers Reddit. It was amazing. This game is RNG above all else, kid. Your friends reloading until they win has nothing to do with skill. I could do that too if I was desperate enough. <laughs> What a loon! He just literally thinks people can't can't play well because <laughs> he can't <laughs> because he can't because he can't play well. He thinks it's impossible that people can play well. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the, it's the same in FPS or uh, theory too. When anyone is doing well, there's always someone that says, "Ah, fucking hackers." <laughs> so easy with the hackers, isn't it, uh, mate? <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh, this is brutal. Oh, stick a fork in Janinu. He's done. Comedy Mega. Ooh. I think you can afford to eat it. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's... I think he's... Uh, well, I mean, obviously KFOG there was just consulting his dice hack program and, and <laughs> determining that, that yes, he that. was able to take that one and his player wouldn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Next turn, of course, his first block will result in a dead dwarf, and he'll be complete, proved completely correct. Yes. But 
But is the thing you, you know, also getting, getting the, some results here, but the... oh, is this a frenzy opportunity? With I don't know, because I thought he had to do a GF5. He was no, he had to do two GF5s to do that blitz. This is and he's got a bit. He's got a bit of a problem in that all these guys are stuck together here. So he's probably gonna just try and get his shit together this turn. Maybe run back with the ball. I think this block was going to be to decide what the big Kef was going to do. And yeah, I think I think he might run back. You know, I think this is a bit of a dodgy situation, yeah. despite getting two removals. Oh, hard. Hard 1 in 9, that uh, Gardar is going to be controlling 3. <laughs> he dubs skulls. See, if he moved back oh, okay. first, like, you know, he, he got in trouble. He got himself in trouble here a little bit, didn't he, Carl? Like, you know, there was a, there was going to be a 2D on the ball there. So that was a bit... That was a bit dodgy that he, uh, that he didn't move the ball first. And I know he wanted to see if he knocked it down and stuff, but I feel yeah, like but he should have. Uh, uh, yes, and then uh, the block less block. Yeah. I feel like he should have uh, moved the wish back first, and, uh, and even if he just moves it right back, just move it back so there's something right there. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Obviously, this looks totally fine now. Keeping him pinned is pretty good, isn't it? Because then it threatens the surf from a witch, so probably does want it to plus this one out. There you go. Mm. It's, I guess just base all men's here for Janinu. Just turp, turp, base, 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 hope for the best. Nick Cole rolls some dice, he's only got two rerolls. Ho ho! Huge Kaz! Minus strength! Big one! <laughs> Big one, less uh, elves on the pitch per turn. Not mm -hmm. good, now it's uh, nine uh, elves versus ten uh, dwarves. Sorry, eight, uh, nine versus nine. Oh, he's in the wrong square. I don't like this. Do I not like this? First of all, he's letting him on a 2 plus out, and also he's not reinforcing over here. So. It's interesting. He's just going to surf, isn't he? He's just going to 2 plus dodge surf. Can he even do it? No, he can't do that. I think, but two plus is fine, right? Two plus surfing. Yeah. There you go. Blitz with the ball carrier. Diced. Oh, no, the result he wanted. No. He's going to have to roll some more two pluses to make this safe. Get one two plus to make this safe. <laughs> I think that two plus was uh, with dodge, yes, because that was a uh, guard pieces of blitzer. Yeah, yeah, so really quite easy to make it safe. The clear yellow pieces are blitzer, the more or less <laughs> orange are the long beards. Yeah. For those uh, watching this, is the color choice I will have picking? Probably not. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> oh, a three plus. Oh, because it was the Slayer. And an extra one. I think that the lonely beast must, must eat the one. <laughs> yeah. So he's going this way to go one, two, three, four, 
five six maybe he was gonna make maybe he was gonna make three two pluses to get like right in the way. Problem is now he's got to st he's got to always like stay in front right, but then he's also got to somehow get try and get the pressure on to um to get the turnover and stuff. I mean, he doesn't need the turnover. Right? He just has to stop him, doesn't he? He actually just has to stop him so he doesn't do this. I don't like this one so much. I don't like this block because um yeah, he's got to he's got to get in front of all these three. And there you go. Use the dodge skill. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think he had to not block with this guy. I think he had to uh, blitz that guy with either Rhino or the uh, Slayer. You know, have this guy free to get in the way more. Nice chain uh, here. Hmm. Yeah, that's decent. That's decent. Keeps him a bit hemmed in. Dead, dead, oh dead. Oh my god, he's done death. Death, death, death. <laughs> and things are getting really dicey for K Fox. Seven <laughs> players on the beach. Let me. I like hitting the runner, even though he's. Uh, even though the runner's. Uh, you know, blockless. I quite like hitting with the runner so you could get that guy on the witch elf, but I guess you can just GFI with him. Double GFI with him gets him on the witch elf. And he's got the best of all possible worlds. Definitely going to surf this guy, isn't he? A million yep. percent. Yeah, I think he can move the line or to get the hit with the... Oh, going for the blitz. Yeah, blitzing, yeah. Maybe he's going to hand off to the witch. Maybe he hands off to the witch here. And she just makes a break for it. A potato. From core. A potato for the ages. Yeah, it's not a bad idea, is it, right? One, two, three, is, four, is, five, it doesn't six, have that seven, many... GFI, GFI. The many other options, so yeah, he's, uh, he, he's running out of players. <laughs> yeah, he really is, yeah. I mean, or he can just like screen, right? He can just move the ball over here and have the witch there and stuff. Doesn't have to go something as crazy as that, but he could. He probably would if he was a bit further up the field, right? If he could score, if he could get into scoring range, he'd probably do that. I think. I guess he could go like this way, but then he's then he's too close to uh, too close to all these. He is going for the handoff. He's a handoff. Yeah, he's too close. If he, I guess he could like go for a two plus dodge and get it there, but still a bit too close. So I think he, interesting. Which way is he going to go? Yeah, he goes this way. And you might not even need both GFIs here, might you? Yeah, I think probably just one's good. Yeah, yeah, you just needed the one GFI, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't think he needed this. Do oh, you want to be it? away even from the runner? Yeah. The runner could cool base her with uh, two GFIs. Yeah, but like basing and then having to do a two plus, doing a two plus dodge with dodge. Yeah, is two better, plus without dodge is a. Uh, so, yeah, I think a bit of a mistake there. Maybe, maybe a mistake from Cole, maybe. Didn't have to do the GFI. This is the problem with, with the fact that he couldn't get into scoring range means that the uh, stuff can get back and then he just can't score. There wasn't much you could do, really. Wow. 
Yeah, it's true, Tacky on speed, but do you, are you scared of a 4-2-2 to 1D on turn 13 from the Dwarves? I'm not sure I am. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is absolutely mental. What did I see? You need to make a, another one, you know, is this a dicing with a <laughs> yeah. game box full of people? Is this a dicing? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is the problem with with going to the side. Like if he could if he'd gone through the middle he'd be in scoring range right now. But also he would have got sacked. <laughs> so there's not really you could have not really much he could have done, he's just got no fucking players left. But yeah, maybe he should have stayed back there. That was the problem. That that was the problem was like this turn was always gonna be the problem. If it goes to overtime, Janinu's got three rerolls and Kaur's only got one. And many more players. Yes. The witch can tag that guy. Oh, I guess so can he, because he's just moved six, isn't he? He was already closer. So this guy can tag him, and then this one can tag him. And then it's just a 1D on the ball, a little bit of 3 plus here. Because he can dodge there. He can the dodge The question there. is that the, the Blitzer is... Yeah, he needs to get in front of the Blitzer because the Blitzer is a uh, IG3. Yeah, yeah. So he goes one, two, th three. And then he's got... So one, two, three, four. And then dodges to there. I think he's got to do this dodge. And a GFI. I think he had to. Oh my God, he rolls another one. Has to reroll out because it's the tackle. With a three plus or two D on the ball. Yeah, I think it was worth. I think it was worth making that dodge. It's just rough though, isn't it? Maybe do the other GFI first because you know you have to make the other GFI, and then when he's left with no rerolls, then he stops him there. But I think if he still had a reroll. It's worth doing the GFI to, uh, and even without the reroll, it's probably worth doing the GFI because he's got dodge for the dodge, right? Because it's a blitzer, so it's yeah. probably worth doing that because I making you know then it's a four three, isn't it? Like then it's well, it's yeah four, it's a four three instead of just a three. So then that then it just makes it only a one D on the ball, or I guess it makes him, yeah, and also it stopped this being a four plus from the block tackle, so. I do think it was maybe correct to do that. It's hard to do them though, that's the thing. It's hard to do those kind of moves. Because, you know, even though it's better in raw percentage of it working, you know, your opponent has to see the play guys, and it's just harder to do those dice than, like, you know, leaving for your opponent. He does the four plus one. Seen. And again, that would, have been, that would have been shut down completely right by the dodge. Oh man, oh man, doesn't get the AV break. Four plus to get the hit with tackle. Yeah. No AV break though. And now he needs to dodge with the blitzer to put some guard there, yep. Yeah. Yeah. So they both dodged oh. out. So that, that dodge from Carl looking really good now, isn't it? <laughs> that dodge from Carl's looking really good. I did think he needed to do that. That's... But, but it, it takes a lot of balls to do that dodge, right? You've got you've got no re-rolls, or you've got one re-roll. You only want to make the other roll a two plus, but it just it did so much it made it made it impossible for the uh Linemen to get out, and a lot harder for the blitzer to get out. Gonna scat the ball.
Not into the crowd. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Or probably feeling a little bit hard done by now. That was a hard. Uh... This is the quarterfinals. This is the round of 16. Sorry, okay, so the, the next one is the quarterfinals. So three more uh, games. Yeah. So, like, yeah, after this, there's three more. And then this is like the seventh round of 16 match the other round the eighth round of 16 match is happening at the same time so i'll do that i'll do the replay of that um, because obviously core gets preference it just did the one day there so this isn't terrible is it he's and he's got more of a chance really with being an elf right like there's he's actually he's outnumbering four to three and obviously they're coming in this turn but um only one's coming in this turn. So. Super interesting, isn't it? But of course, he can come in, then he can block and power, and then he can. blitz and run up there. And if you don't dodge, and, but you want your sure hands, it's tough, isn't it? Maybe your blitzer has to pick it up. And then, like, blitz. One, two, three, four. Five or something, and then bring these guys. It's tough. It's tough. This is where block on the runner is good, isn't it? Because it's getting scrappy. Yeah, it gives you the chance game. of. Uh, yeah, well, he needs to move that guard, uh, the the free guard. I think uh, between the blitzer and the line on yeah. the dark elf. Yeah, I like that. Or you could just double GFI this guy <laughs> and then punch him and then put him next to the witch elf as well. That would probably be the best square for him, but obviously it means you're doing two GFIs first. But then if you could get him in there, then you're assisting that block that, that you know, clears your runner. But, um, yeah. God, I'm tired. I'm tired. Maybe I'm just babbling insanity here. No, 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 no. Yeah, they both that's what I was thinking. Oh! Oh! Oh boy. We've got a disconnect from somebody. Maybe me. What a move. Nobody was expecting the disconnect move. Yeah. Yeah, Cole going for the classic disconnect. It was 1 1. Anything could happen. Let's replay the whole game. <laughs> <laughs> Just a joke. No, this isn't the bug. The bug says waiting for opponent in the top right. I mean, not that he'd be doing the book anyway, but you know what I mean. Just so you know what it looks like. <laughs> I didn't think it was a serious question. Is this the book? Uh, I, 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 uh, I had to reconnect a couple of times because I just couldn't control anybody, so it could be one of those situations. Never be more so. You're welcome. Right, we're back. Yeah, I think double GFI. It sounds stupid as fuck. But I think double GFI and then he blocks and follows. And then the blitzer gets in on a GFI. And then your, uh, your blitzer runs around. Blitz is him, and then your ball carrier gets it, and he's he's all right. But I mean, this is the more obvious move. But I just think the double GFI one would have been all right. Oh well, he does Ooh, go for it. That's one reroll gone. I so yeah, so he just does it the other way. Yeah, okay. 
And he blitzes with a runner who doesn't have block. Oh my god. <laughs> If you're going to do that, I think he blocked with the line or first right. He didn't, he didn't move afterwards. What? He's going for the pickup with the blitzer. It's too risky, isn't it? I guess, so I guess he's just not doing. Yeah. Wow. Surely Cole will think of something clever here. He needs to hit the the long beard. Is the one with tackle. I mean, he might surf this blitzer here. <laughs> he might surf this blitzer. We'll see. It's turn sixteen, so it's gone over time. Um, unless if he doesn't score, so actually he doesn't care at all about surfing him. I didn't see what turn it was. So he wants to. Do you scatter or do you? Um, Maybe he should have blitzed, honestly. Maybe this lineman should have blitzed. Maybe he should dodge into the end zone. So 1D for the scatter. One D here. Well, nice uh, kill. Oh, you can dodge in the 2D in the air, okay. Oh, diced. No, oh, this is rough, isn't it? He's got it. So he can dodge out, so he's got dodge on the dodge in. But he just dodges straight to it. And then picks it up, oh. and then fails the 3 plus. We're going over time with four cast elves and two KO and dwarves. And possible uh, a fifth one with a KO. Yeah, there's no chance of a, of a score here. He's got this guy as a scoring threat, but there's just literally no way. <laughs> I guess if the ball had come in that way, then the troll slayer could have ran up, picked it up and lobbed it to him. But uh, there's absolutely no way right now of getting the... Uh, Getting the ball to this guy. <laughs> yeah, obviously hit the witch because I'm so. <laughs> Sweet mysterious oblivion. Yeah, it's hilarious, isn't it? The game just ends. Oh, oh, this is very grim. Yeah, really okay, grim. Fog. Really grim. No rerolls. No players. <laughs> Oof. Man, the second half started so well as well, didn't it? It started so well. He like removed two players early. He was ten nine up. He was, and then he just started getting every single player just cast. <laughs> I'm gonna feed the cat I mean, while they do the setup. The dwarves have won the toss. Core has six players on defense. Okay, all stayed out. Ten v six. I did say that, Baron Bucky. I did say that, but then, then something happened, didn't it? Like it somehow caused the whole team got surrounded in the middle. That was really weird. Like I was bamboozled how that had happened, and then, and then after that happened, all of his players were removed. <laughs> Killy sprees do happen. Slayers, slayers can pass, can't they? No, they can't. They literally can't. <laughs> I thought it was a six plus. They just literally can't. Amazing. Uh, amazing. 
He should go for the surf with the uh, Slayer, shouldn't he? Go one, two, and then uh, get her off. Yeah, the failed surf, yeah. Yeah, and he was so on top before, it was so weird, wasn't it? See what that was. <laughs> Not being able to see these is really annoying. Where do I see the there was no? Or did they well oh, maybe they drew. Maybe they drew so neither side won the cheering fans. He's got this he's got his cage already made. <laughs> Can literally full cage and then fight everybody one on one as well. <laughs> yeah, this is looking bad. This is going to be a quick one. Yeah, I think so. Just came back to see this. <laughs> and it's not looking good. No. Oh. Okay, folks, we'll of course valiantly battle on, but um, yeah, it looks like... With uh, six players, <laughs> I mean... Sorry, uh, two, four, yeah, six players. <laughs> Anything can happen. Don't say it's yeah. over. We could go to the black screen of the kicks. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty much done after this. This is going to be the end of the stream. I'll do the uh, the other replay tomorrow. The other replay and two error BB replays tomorrow. Only being absolutely shattered at like 10 p.m. It's not like me. <laughs> well, you have barely asleep anyway, so that makes sense. Yeah. Well, that was something, but... Uh... It is crazy dice that K-Fog's got with, like, the cards and the kills that he made, but... Uh... 
I know still. Buildings, but it's just he got he got his half his team fucking cast. <laughs> and if you get half your team cast, it's a trug it's a bit of a struggle, isn't it, really? By the way, Jim, have you thought about the multi-streaming uh, this also to YouTube? Now you can do it. Twitch changed the rules, so now you are allowed to stream in uh, different platforms at the same time. Yeah, um, I haven't really. I haven't given any thought to it, but I think I might give some thought to it soon. I have been a little bit optimistic today. Not really recently, just today. So we'll see what happens and uh, maybe I'll get a bit more into the old streaming again. The problem with that, you know, it's just like, is it worth it because Blood Bowl 3 shit, isn't it? That's the thing. But, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens anyway. We'll see what happens. I mean, if it doesn't cause uh, too much effort, you know, just set it up and do it at the same time and that's it. Yeah. A nice, a nice block and chain. This is about as good a defense as you can do with five players. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maximizing the uh, chances there. Yeah, three players knocked over and nobody in contact. Like that's pretty great. <laughs> Problem is, it's all he's fucking got. <laughs> Both the witch elf. I would have hit the blitzer and uh, gone around the sideline more, but <sighs> he doesn't have to get too far forward yet, does he? Uh, he can advance a little. He can move the cage to the right and advance a uh, square at least. Yep. Is this is this the cage dive uh, turn? It could be, couldn't it? It could be. It's relatively easy to get the uh, uphill this turn. Oh, yeah. Just going to dub score nah. instead. That's uh, yeah, that's the that, that is. is that is probably GG. That. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That's the uh, in the line of the blue ball. This is what some people will say it's over. <laughs> say it's over. Four. Oh, a bit rowdy. <laughs> I can't do it. But... I like I like messing around.
Wish, wish they'd play faster. <laughs> I, they're playing uh, more or less <laughs> as fast as the user interface allows them. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. finally a pow. That's the problem, isn't it? That is the problem with you, are. Right. Cage dive, come on, caught. Is the K4 finding a way here to something? Hmm. I mean, the good thing is it's it's the full eight turns. I mean, not yeah, not for us. <laughs> in terms of like, you know, he can't just bang it in any point, right? Like in the old rules, he would have got forward a little bit further and he just banged it in like on turn 21. Whereas now he's got to store out the whole half, basically. Can call one turn with five else? No, I don't even think, I think even not he can do it with five or six. Uh, no, I think the minimum is uh, more than five. Eight? I don't know. Uh, yeah, because they're only not five. Eight. They're only moving seven, so yeah, I, w I wouldn't be surprised to have it be eight. Could even be nine, honestly. Top schools. Use his last reroll, and it's a, basically a pointless blitz. Isn't that weird? That's really weird. It wasn't the guy who was basing the ball. He's not tagging the guy in the corner there in case this fails. He might do it, but uh, no, he didn't do it. So what he should have done there was uh, move this guy up two and then move this guy to where he is so he'd have have, have a full cage, right, even if that was a dub skull. But uh, he gets away with it. Yeah, no rerolls makes it a little bit scary for Jananu. Oh, the black screen is coming uh, closer. <laughs> you know it can be done with seven, including a witch. I mean, but is that depending on your opponent setting up for you with the tight LOS? Because a tight LOS is really fucking stupid. So... Well, he's, he's capped at six, isn't he, even if he hits his thing. Having a little think here, you know, can he, can he stop it? There's only two more turns left. Can he just stop it with, like, some kind of stupid elf screen, I guess? Or has he got the goal? Just rolls away. Okay, yeah, I am. That makes things a little easier for uh, Janino. Yep. Oh, I'm actually passing out now. This is this is going to be difficult. <laughs> I, I don't think you're going to be able to do the replay. I'm off after this. No, 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 no. I'm doing that. Re do the replay tomorrow. Yeah. And the error BB tomorrow. Really focus and try and watch this. <laughs> Why is it so slow? <laughs> He's got three players left. Four. Yeah, but three standing. I guess four because it's a witch elf. Yeah, okay. 
Okay. Okay. Now we can hold the maximum he can hold is to make uh, Janinu roll some dice. Oh my god, man. A minute 34 versus three people. But I guess he's grappling with the client, isn't he? Especially the tabletop. But it's not, you know. Like, it's fair enough core taking that long because what the hell can I do? <laughs> I think it's uh you can get a one D here, can't we? Why was he able to get a one D? That's crazy. Yeah, that's uh very surprising he can uh, dodge it's like an to cancel easy one uh... D. It's actually an easy one D. Like there's fucking not tackle, they they're dodging not through tackle and then like what the hell? The blitzer mm -hmm. is uh, dodging uh, the first dodge is uh, through tackle. Yeah, but only the first one, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ah, okay, you'd have to dodge in there. Maybe this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, GFI. So two. Two threes, then a four. But he's got dodging all of them. That's probably that might be the best way actually. And then you've also you got this guy. The... Yeah, that's what he was going for. Oh, oh clever Jim. Clever Jim. I'm confident it was correct if K Fog did it. <laughs> and now comes the a straight a score, don't roll any dice, just a score. Oh yeah, he didn't even need to make the block, yeah, okay. I thought he might have to get it out of the way, but he didn't even have to, so yeah. So it could be a timeout, couldn't it? It could be a timeout kickoff event. And then, with five players, Cole might be able to score. Can Cole score? With five, he's definitely not going to one turn with five. <laughs> I don't care how much you've studied one turns, you're not one turning with five players. Well, not 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 with movement. You're not move seven one turning with five players. Obviously, with Skaven, you can one turn with five players, but you can't one turn with five players on dark elves. So play for the uh, play for the timeout. I just slid down my chair there. I'm literally, I'm literally falling asleep in my chair. Yeah, I want to run my dinner. <laughs> Holy shit. The quick snap. Oh, maybe he could have done that because he'd have movement eight. <laughs> maybe he actually could have done. I doubt it though, not with not with six people, uh, five people. Do you know what one of the things that I hate about Blood Bowl 3 is this line being a wavy line. Yeah. <laughs> I, have, I haven't noticed it. Yeah, it goes a. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, hopefully, Steve. Thank you. Yep, hopefully. Well, there you go. Janinu has defeated Olivia de la and Fog, the and prime favorite. In the ah, Kay Fog, his days are over. Janinu's 74, look, 74, so he's played it a bit. Core only level 7, you know, pretty much just played in this tournament, so yeah. Amazing, amazing tournament for Janinu so far, and gets the job done. Versus everybody's favourite Danish Englishman. <laughs> Hello! Freedom! <laughs> oh well, oh well. It is truly win win, isn't it? <laughs> it truly is. I think if anything uh, illustrated that was getting solid defence and have freaking no clue what to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I said, I said he probably yeah, just yeah. doesn't know. <laughs> he doesn't know what to do. <laughs> it's, you were lucky with a quick snap, you know. 
um, I've had quick snaps where I've lost my turn. And I don't know how you lose it. I don't know what you press, when you press, how you press. But when you get a quick snap, you can just lose your like your next oh. turn. Like I think, it's the, yeah, the really big and blitz target is fun as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh shit! Oh god! Yeah, honestly, that's. I, I literally I saw it today. Chunt was playing somebody. Else. Well, maybe, maybe yesterday. Chunt was, no, I was playing. I played somebody. It wasn't Chunt. I played somebody the day I or yesterday. I span and they got a quick snap and then they lost their turn and so I just like got a full full turn on their drive and so they just conceded because it was obviously an absolute joke, wasn't it? Oh, well, yeah. There's not much to say, is there? I guess you're happy that you're out. <laughs> yeah. That's bad. Um, yeah, that was bad. Rough second half. Yeah, but it's fine. It's weird, <laughs> isn't it? Because like it started off so well with like the removals and the stuns. I was, I was like stick a fork in Jenny Jenny Nui's done, and then like there was the failed surf, and then all of a sudden, yeah, and then he took out like three players in succession, more or less. Yeah, and it was all of a sudden. It was... uh, I'm still. I think it's still fine if if my blitz up makes the three plus two plus. I think it's still all right. Yeah. Oh, he could also have failed some of the four pluses and three pluses. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. The three plus two plus. Yeah, I thought you had to make that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and the problem make. is, I used to reroll on the two plus to get out of range for the, from a dodging dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. And then I couldn't reroll the three plus. Which are probably all about alternatively I rerolled the three plus. Yeah. But I could also just have made it like he made the four plus and the three plus in the turn after. <laughs> exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you do that then he's gotta do like a five four and a four three, hasn't he, instead of a five four and a three, so yeah. That would have been that would have been absolutely yeah. crucial, but Yeah. What can you do, eh? It doesn't matter. It's what it is. It's Blood Bowl. I did find it hilarious. I keep rolling ones and double skulls in overtime, though, with my five herbs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's Blood Bowl, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was rough. It was rough. If it's been the other way, we might have been having some fun out of it. <laughs> the one with five players not getting anywhere. <laughs> that's... It was a beautiful turn, though, where you knocked down, like, three players and had nobody left in contact. And it's like, that's about as good a turn as you can play with five players. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was like, at one point, it looked like if I could keep doing that, at least I would get some kind of chance, like, in the first half. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, oh, well, it's at least, yeah, at least it's it's fine. I can uh, unthought up all three again. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think I'm up against it versus Andre. But yeah, if I lose, at least at least I can stop playing Blood Bowl three. <laughs> yeah. Oh well, it's at least it's better than it was in beta. That's all I can say. Yes. Yeah. It is better. It is better, and maybe they'll keep making it better for long enough that it's uh, good. Maybe. You all right, know. gentlemen. I'm gonna leave you. I have to. Get my dinner. I'm hungry. Yeah, I've got, I've got to go to sleep. I've been falling asleep for like ha over half an hour. So yeah. All right. Um, so see you later, guys. Good night, family. Thanks very much, and good night, core. Uh, commiserations, but also congratulations at No More Blood Bowl Three. Thank <laughs> you. Freedom, freedom for all the little wrestlers around there. <laughs> and obviously congrats to Jananu as well who gets one step closer to one step closer to one step closer to five grand <laughs> so there you go and uh, thanks for watching everyone don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic